hey trans youth, I am currently at my new place, hence the new background, and why I'm on the webcam camera as opposed to my actual camera. It's a really close quarter space. I'm still working out ways of doing videos. I hope you guys don't mind. So before I get on to the topic today, I have one really quick announcement being the new trans youth person from last week. We ended up having a previous trans youth person contacting me saying she wants to continue doing videos, which I am kind of a little on the ill side about because I spent like three weeks getting everything situated and I told you guys we'd have a new trans youth person, but she gets seniority. So Avalisa is back on the channel and I am actually really quite happy about that. I like Avalisa and I'm glad that she could be back. I just kind of sorry about the lack of video blogger newness. In place of that, I have decided to figure out how I'm going to make the wild card thing work. I'm hoping we can manage to get the wild card set up for the rest of the week so that whenever someone can't make a video in future weeks, we will just pop a wild card in. So I'm going to choose the person that I had chose last week to be the first wild card and hopefully they'll say yes, hopefully they won't. Otherwise, I will be asking for multiple wild cards. So your application is still very much worth turning in. Send it to transyouthchannel at gmail.com and I will get everything situated for you. Wild cards are a much easier position to get into because it involves the entire week. This just has the added thing of give me the entire time you are available to do videos. If that's the whole week, great, fantastic wild card. If you can only do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, that's okay too. We want several wild cards for every day so that every trans youth blogger knows who they want to go to, knows who they can go to, and can get multiple chances to get their video filled. So send those to transyouthchannel at gmail.com. As well as your questions, we are still taking your questions. We still want to thrive on your questions. We still have a rather large list of questions to do in weeks coming, but we encourage you to get your videos in as quickly as possible. Trust me, if your question is good, it will be chosen. Having said that, I want to talk about the topic when you're hanging out with other transgendered people, less passable transgendered people, and that outs you, how do you react to that? How do you react to the fact that being with this less passable trans person will out you to the general public as if you were not passable? The one other thing that also includes is when a non-passable person outs you vocally, like says, oh yeah, she's trans too, or he's trans too. That's kind of not an okay thing. So how do you handle that? I have actually had personal experience with this being in the community as I am. I am friends with a lot of less passable people and I'm totally okay with that. I am totally okay talking to people because they come up to them start asking them questions and I'm okay being outed. I'm very out. I am on YouTube so I don't really see a reason to take any offense to it if someone else clocks me because I'm hanging out with another trans person who is obviously not passing. I also have this experience a lot with people who are just starting their transition. I have on multiple occasions taken people out to other towns or other cities to help them have their first real life experience because that is a huge deal for transgendered people to be in your own skin for once whether you pass or not and this is your first time as the gender that you identify as so you're probably not going to be incredibly passable but you're probably still going to be insanely happy 
So as far as naturally being outed because of someone else, I am totally happy to do that because I know in my heart that I am doing the right thing. Helping this person with their first real life experience at my expense. I totally don't mind that and do not care at all. On the other hand, when it comes to people outing me and they're just like, yeah, she's trans. Yeah, she's trans. Yeah, she's trans. I'm like, mm, let me do that. When people come up to my friends and ask if I am trans, I always tell my friends, try and direct them to me. If you think that it is going to be dangerous, don't tell them. If you think that it might pose a problem, bring them to me and I will decide. If you think that it might be completely comfortable in everything, bring them to me with you. Don't make it a huge deal. Let me out myself and don't tell others that I am trans. That can put me in danger and you may not know who I want to know or do not want to know. So let me have that privilege. If that ends up happening to me, I'm not going to be pissed, I'm not going to be angry, but I will be kind of annoyed that you just told someone I'm trans and now they're chasing my skirt. I won't have that. So I will be annoyed, but I will still handle it in the most adult way I possibly can. That's my opinion for Monday on Trans Youth, Then hopefully, because the week is full, we will have seven full opinions for you this week, first time in a while, and I'm looking very forward to that. Thanks, guys. Bye.